Can you believe it is the end of June already? Crazy. Wow, time flies when you're having fun. So what does the end of June mean for you? For me, it means taking a look ahead at the next quarter and see all the things that I actually want to accomplish in my life and in my business, both of them. Hello, if we haven't met before, my name is Michelle and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous leak. Leak? I hope you're having a fabulous week. I hope you don't have any leaks. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about quarterly planning and some of the things that actually needs to go in to your quarterly plan when you're getting it all set up. So, do you resist planning? Do you resist it in your life, in your business, because you feel it is difficult to do? Well, friend, that's okay. Let's go ahead and walk through the different steps so that you know everything that you need in order to accomplish it. And we'll keep you from feeling completely overwhelmed and busy every single day. So why is planning a good thing? Well, we always get to pick our hard. And would you rather spend a little bit of time working on the hard now, or do you wanna spend a lot of time working on the hard later? In the end, it's your choice, you can choose, but make sure you do what feels best for you and the use of your time and energy. Okay, so these are the things that I feel are necessary when you do a quarterly review plan. Okay, pull out your calendar. And if you haven't already put the dates that you're planning to be out on the, be out of the office for time off or vacation, rest, leisure, whatever it is, figure those days out. Do it right now for the third quarter. That's what's coming up. What days? Um, Fourth of July is in there. If you're in the U.S., that's a pretty big holiday. So are you taking any time off from your business? During that time, what do you got going on in your life during that time? So go ahead and block that time out on your calendar so that you know that you have it. Once you have all your time blocked off on your calendar, that's the number of the working days that you have to be able to move forward with all of your different goals and projects that you have scheduled or you're hoping to get accomplished in the third quarter. Okay, now grab your notebook, open up your computer, whatever it is that you want to do or however you create your list. And I want you to go ahead and create an exhausted list of all the projects and all of the things that you would love to accomplish in the next month, three months. So if everything were to go as planned, you would have a huge list of all the things that you would like to get done and get it out. Even those crazy ideas, doesn't matter. Whatever it is, no project is too small or too simple for this list. Write it down, everything that pops in your mind without any judgment, put it down. And again, or I probably haven't put a time limit on it, so don't spend a huge amount of time on this. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever feels right for you, but whatever. 10, 15 minutes, go ahead and get everything out of your mind. Heck, you might even be able to do it in five. Whatever works for you for time-wise. Just set a timer, get everything out of your head. Okay, now you have it. What are those projects that are actually in aligned with how you want to think, feel, and the vision that you have for your life and your business? So you have your whole list, your exhausted list and you're looking at the things that feel the most in line with how you want your life to feel and how you actually want your business to feel. Then taking that list, go ahead and cross off anything on that list that is out of alignment or does not bring you any sort of joy and you're like dreading it. Unless it's a really necessary project, then you probably need to leave it on there However, when you break things down, they all become easier. Okay, now I want you to go ahead and circle all the ideas that you feel are in alignment with your life and with your business. 
So what are those things? What are those tasks that are important to you? What are the things that you actually want to do and accomplish? Okay, now we have what we actually want to accomplish in the next three months for our life and for our business. Let's go ahead and mind, man, mind map out that project. So I'm not sure if you've ever created a mind map before, but this is how I do it personally. You can do it however you want. I like paper. You might prefer to do it on an app that allows you to mind map. However it be, it's completely up to you. So on my piece of paper, I'm gonna draw a big circle. Well, let me show you. Let me grab a piece of paper. Notebook that actually has paper in it. It'd be very beneficial for us. So my circle. My project, what it is that I want to accomplish. And then from there, I'm going to put all of the things that come to my mind that I need to accomplish to get this project done. Just like that. And then everything that needs to be accomplished on all of the other things. So you can see just like this. And that would be how I would create the actual brain sweep or thought download of all the things that need to take place in order for that project to happen. Now granted, sometimes when I'm actually putting and laying everything out in my project management system, I'll have other things that pop into my mind. It's like, oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't take that into consideration. So, but that is how you do a general mind map or to get all of the things on your project that all the tasks on your project that need to get done. Now that we have this, let's get it scheduled. Let's get it on your calendar. Let's figure out the dates. I generally ask people to work from the end in mind forward, because if you know that you want to have it done at the end of the third quarter, so at the end of September, then you're going to walk backwards and make sure you have all the pieces that need to be done. So that would be for a bigger project. If you have like small projects that you know are only going to take a month, then go ahead and work backwards from the end of the month to the beginning, plotting out all of the tasks that actually need to happen during that time. And again, you can do this on a calendar paper or bullet journal, electronic calendar, whatever it is that you choose, just make sure that you're able to move things around when you're actually doing it. Okay. So now you're starting to get things on the schedule. If you have a lot of projects you would like to get done and they are going to take you a considerable amount of time to do, you might want to just pick one. Or if you have them where they're a little bit not quite so time intensive and you think you can get it done in a month or you know you can get it done in a month with the amount of work that you have, then go ahead Maybe start with that one and see where it takes you. Okay, so now you have your list of all the things that need to get done. You have an idea of the date that it needs to get it done, get done by. Okay, so who needs to actually accomplish that? Is it you or is it somebody else on your team that needs to get it done? Or if it's a life, something with your life, is it only you that need to do those things or can somebody else help you with that? Do you need any special resources in order to be able to accomplish your project and get it done? So if you're landscaping your front yard, what are all the things that you'll need to get ordered before you can actually start working on that project? With anything, any project, it's important that you stay in your own lane and delegate out any task that can be done by somebody either more efficiently or because they have uh, more knowledge of that actual project and will take them far less time to get accomplished than if you kept it on your own plate. It's okay, friend. Let it go. Let somebody else help you. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. I'm going to go ahead and put the link down below for my planning checklist so that you have that. And if you have any questions, 
go ahead and write it down below. I'd love to hear what is the next big project you want to work on in the third quarter. I hope you have a wonderful day. I appreciate you. If you need some help figuring these out, I invite you to apply for my private coaching. The link is down below and we can work on all those project plans together. List, however you want to call it. It's uh, however, what, man, words are kind of hard for me today. Again, I think, yeah. okay, starting over. <laughs>